Ladies and gents, please put your hands together and welcome onto the stage, Buzz! You said it, Greg! I am Buzz, the only primetime presenter with legs shorter than his head is long. So, who will be joining me on this trivia pilgrimage? Hit your buzzer if you want to play. Now, choose yourself a character. What kind of outfit would you like? Same as before. Now choose which of these tasteful noises you want your buzzer to make. As usual, name entry time. Use your real one or just make up something hilarious. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got to choose the first subject, and I say it's you! Uh -huh. It's going to be Gadgets and Gizmos! Questions ready, trivia glands ready, just press the colored buttons to answer as we play Point Builder! When you know the right answer, select it using the colored buttons in your own time. Which method of getting around did inventor Dean Kamen give us? <laughs> Was that a guess? Or are you really that fast? A pair of what? <laughs> okay, you've all got the last two spot on. Keep it up. If one of these helps you to get home, which space-based technology are you using? <laughs> such incredible speed, such morbid stupidity! Which techie term is often used to describe this? Oh. That'll teach you to thumb your nose at common sense. Which science fiction movie inspired the development of this device? Ah, you'd better all be right. That kind of playing gives me a tingle, if you know what I mean. Which language does a new Furby speak? They're not. Gloat all you like. Still difficult to say who's going to take home the loot. Interesting. Yeah, <laughs> now, from here on in, if you're losing, you're choosing. Meaning, if you're in last place, it's your job to choose the category for the next round. Gadgets and Gizmos are ready. It's that time again when I test your knowledge with the aid of unstable explosives. Let's play Short Fuse. Answer correctly to get rid of the bomb. Here it comes. It helps you get home safely. But what does GPS stand for? Get rid of it quick. MP3 players that don't have hard disks use what type of storage memory? Nice! Munich, Bavaria is home to which auto giant? Oh, the humanity! 
Let's have a moment's silence for your score. It's lit! It's lit! Which game console first let you play Pong at home? Very wrong indeed! Where would you expect to see pixels? Toss that bomb! The Italian firm Piaggio manufactures which iconic brand of sp- Exactly what day! Which technology lets you go hands-free with your cell phone? In 1993, Ducati introduced which legend? Get rid of that bomb! In which computer game series do Leon S. Kennedy and... Negative. In 2003, which car company... I just never get tired of it. Boom! I hope I never do. The fuse is lit! Let's hit it! Which component is found inside a mobile phone? Pass it on! Pass it on! Which company produces a sports car called the... S no! Founded in 1954, HRC stands for... Hot no! What can an MP4 player do that an MP3 player can? Bang! And your points are gone! Try as you might, his score cannot be blown apart! <laughs> right. Before you find a cure for shrapnel in the trivia glands, our last place player has to choose a category for the next round. And since we have people tied to dishonor, I'll be needing a decision from you. Mind and body questions. Right. Fastest finger. Self-explanatory, really. Answer fastest, score largest. Simplicity itself. You see, the faster the answer, the more points you'll rake in. What's he helping to prevent? wants the lead. How about you? What's keeping her fit? <laughs> very fast, very right, very surprising. Which slow-moving martial art keeps you fit and healthy? Some share the shame, some share the points, as it should be. Which of these does the acronym SAD stand for? like stupid people, even you. If you got yourself a facelift, which age-reversing procedure have you had? <laughs> a quick scan of the rules reveals, yes, in fastest finger, it only counts if the answers are right. Which of these is not a primary focus of this gentle regime? Ooh, ho, ho, ho. that was a close one. <laughs> Top buzz at the end of Fastest Finger, the 60s inspired pop goddess. Good stuff.
Yeah, baby. <laughs> mm. Okay, loser, choose a category. Mm. You want style? Here it comes. It's time to get messy, answer fast, and get the chance to throw dessert at your opponents. Let's play Pie Five. Remember, folks, the fastest correct answer will gain control of the pie. Let's go. Which supermodel has produced a fragrance called Me? Hit your buzzer to stop the crosshair. Squash! Pies cost lives, and you only get two each, so don't get used to the taste. Which music mogul founded the fashion brand Sean John? Righty, who's gonna get this pie? Pied! Lose another life. And I fear your game show career will follow your pop career down the drain, my love. Which industrial-style Paris building houses a library and modern art museum? <laughs> okay, who's gonna get it? I'm a crack shot, you know. Take it! You've taken a lot of cream and that means no more pie for you. Let's continue. In 1927, Paul Renner designed which modern typeface? Right. Here's the answer I wanted. Klaus Mertens was walking on air when he invented which boot? <laughs> Time to pie, but who? Incoming! It's not the winning that matters, it's the, well, actually, it's all about the winning, really. Uh, two still in. Here we go. Glam rockers of the 70s favored which type of funky footwear? <laughs> Let me at him! Take that! Ooh, this is starting to look like Waterloo. Last life. The Polo Player logo is the which designer's clothing line? This pie's got someone's name on it. Choose. Ah! A suicide pie. Awesome. All pied out. 1,000 points for our champ, 500 points for silver, 250 for bronze, and zilch for the first to fall. Still in the lead at the end of Pie Fight. Consolation for the dress sense. <laughs> As our last place, Larry, you get to choose the topic of the next round. Ah, uh, hmm. It's going to be Gadgets and Gizmos! It's time for you thieves to shine. Buzz in fastest on the right answer and you get to pilfer someone else's points. It's Point Stealer. Oh. Friends, buzz in when you see the picture that answers the question. Which of these uses electromagnetic action? <laughs> Press the color that matches your desired victim. Ah, Buzz is a great leveler. No? <laughs> Which of these would you associate with a chopper? <laughs> Time to give someone an atomic point. First place, feel the wrath of last place. Awesome! A plectrum is handy to work which of these?
Fortune rewarding the patient there. Well, I know, sweet cheeks. Theft is so seductive. If anyone knows that, I do. Which everyday object would be of interest to a horologist? the right answer. Sassy, snazzy, and still in the lead. Oh, <laughs> well, you're in last place, so the undignified honor of choosing a category is yours. Uh -huh. The world of food and drink. Everyone, this is high stakes. Bet high if you know your onions, low if you don't. Or maybe take a risk. Let's play! So what's our first question about? Place your bets, people. Coloured buttons, coloured buttons. OK, all bets in. Question, please. Where would chefs put a toque blanche? should have bet more points. What's our next question on? It's only points. Place your bets. Confident betting. I like you people. What might this be? the way to make your peers look foolish. Our next question will be on... Coloured buttons place bets, people. <laughs> Big bets from all of you. Gosh. Which tasty European cheese is known for its holes? chance that someone's going to win. Okay, everyone. Last chance to bet high and win big. Our last topic for this round of high stakes is... Place your bets! Coloured buttons! Bets are in and go! Which of these would be an expert at making a Swiss roll? <laughs> In other news, the round's biggest flake had just got one right! And so, at the end of High Stakes, it's still our aging pop princess on top of the pile. <laughs> the time has come to fasten your seatbelts. You will be the last one to remain at the end of the final countdown. Points! Points! What you want is time! And the more you've scored, the more seconds you win. Make sure you answer quickly as time is constantly dropping. Which of these is an Amsterdam-based fashion brand? <laughs> Costing almost one million dollars each to make, what is an Osimo? You're dicing with death! Get this next one wrong at your peril! Which construction toy was created in Denmark in 1949? Oh, no. oh. Right, 
step it up, your buzzing time's being slashed. When they didn't have much fresh fruit and vegetables, what did sailors get a lot of? <laughs> that was not what I like to call a good answer. And you're in trouble. Who could make you smile by applying veneers? Watch your head on the... Oh, that looked like it hurt. Eliminate it. Which tea leaves acquire their taste from being dried in bamboo baskets over burning pine? I'm saying this because I like you. Be careful. What does a diesel engine lack that a gasoline engine has? Oh, really? Right. I'm slashing the answer time. Step it up. The study of human behavior is known as what? Oh, 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 You're out of here, my greased up leotard lover. Bye. Which beauty treatment is an ancient technique for hair removal? Eliminated. Adios. Ladies and gents, we have a winner. <laughs> what a game. And what a winner. I'll be honest. I didn't think you could do it. But you proved me wrong. Normally, I get violent when that happens. But your relentless good cheer and high spirits have melted something in me. And all I have to say is this. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Love you. Love each other.